homicide case. WISN 12 News reporter Colleen Henry is live in Kenosha. And Colleen, police revealed today they believe the first victim might have been killed there. Yeah, now Tony, investigators say that Zelich told them he met Jane Doe online, that the two of them hooked up at a hotel along this strip near I-94 and Highway 50. They're now trying to get enough evidence to charge him for killing her here. Stephen Zelich made his first court appearance via closed circuit television, charged with two counts of hiding a corpse. State of Wisconsin versus Stephen Zelich. Appearances, please. Neighbors found two suitcases ditched on a Walworth County rural road in early June. The bodies were hid, uh, that he put them in a suitcase, that he took them to his West Dallas home, uh, that at one point he hid one, at least one in the trunk, and that he eventually brought them to Walworth County and left them both off North Como Road. Trail News has learned the women's bodies had been frozen in Zelich's West Dallas apartment. They were not dismembered. Law enforcement tells 12 News it has no evidence Zelich killed anyone else. Minnesota prosecutors are now working on homicide charges in the case of Laura Simonson. Kenosha investigators are trying to determine if Zelich killed the unidentified woman along this hotel strip on Highway 50. In the grand scheme of things, if homicide charges are filed in other counties, our, our charges are, are kind of small potatoes at this point. Now, Zelich reportedly told police that he met up with Jane Doe back in late 2012, early 2013. Police are now trying to find either hotel records or credit card records or something to establish he was here and potentially with her at the time. As for Kenosha prosecutors, they tell 12 News they're not in any position yet to file homicide charges. In Kenosha, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News.